He was just such a big part of my life and I loved him so much. You may have noticed these billboards around town. Now they are from the nonprofit group Association of People Against Lethal Drunks. It's an organization trying to raise awareness about fentanyl. New Center 7's Kayla McDermott sat down with the founder who lost her son. He got almost 100% fentanyl, killing him instantly, and I found him dead on his bedroom floor. A nightmare that Diane Urban relives every day. It just never goes away. And uh, so I was robbed of my son's life. I'll never have grandchildren. Um, and it's, it's been the most horrible experience of my life. She knew she had to keep this tragedy from happening to others. So it was either die or um, do something about it. And, and so I just got angrier about it. And Urban founded Appalled, the Association of People Against Lethal Drugs, a nonprofit striving to not only educate, but bring together others impacted by fentanyl. And it's nice to know that you're not alone and that other people know exactly how you feel. She joined Appalled after her daughter, Marissa, accidentally overdosed from fentanyl. She did a line of cocaine with her boyfriend that was laced with fentanyl and she died on his basement floor. As did Rhonda Kraus, who lost her niece to the drug. She was quite possibly the first person to um, be deceased in 2021. Even though the number of accidental overdose deaths has gone down by 5% in the state since then, thousands are still dying just in Ohio. Hence why the women travel nationwide, informing people that fentanyl still kills over 150 people every day. I hear you. If you speak to them, they'll listen. One pill, one line, and you will die. All while keeping these faces in their thoughts, motivating them to keep going. When I help people, that makes me feel better. And this is the path that I have now in life, and uh, probably my path to the day I die. And Kayla McDermott joins us live now. And Kayla, you mentioned Appalled travels across the country and actually has plans for another rally next year. Yes, they are set for May to have another rally, and Ohio is supposed to be included in those rallies, but the cities of where they're happening has not been released. That's going to be coming out soon. Gabrielle? Kayla McDermott reporting live for us this afternoon. Thanks, Kayla. And as we've reported, this danger from fentanyl is in the Miami Valley. This latest data from the Ohio Department of Health shows synthetic opioids like fentanyl kill more than 4,300 Ohioans, and they did that in 2021. Now, here's a breakdown county by county. 253 people died from synthetic opioids in Montgomery County. That number was 74 in Clark County and 46 in Greene County. And Ohio has taken steps to fight this. New Center 7 first reported in September the state put Narcan inside rest stops along major interstates. These Narcan kits are in boxes in the rest stop bathrooms. The nasal spray can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. ODA is in charge of the rest stops. The agency told us it restocks them with Narcan every week. 